Okay, we are back. Still alive. We haven't taken a dirt nap yet. Though there's been a couple close calls. Uh, doing pretty well. We're into the third day of this horrible apocalypse, um, which apparently there's going to be no hope. Um, I think in one week, all contact is lost throughout the world. Paris goes silent. London goes silent. We don't care, though. We don't care anymore about the world. Screw the world. Um, we got our own. We're gonna make. We're gonna make our own world. We're gonna make our own luck. So what I was thinking was a um, little bit uh, something I've done in the past, which is a big mistake. These base defenses. I think I was bragging about a few planks in the last video, but uh, really. We want to start to think long term a little bit here, and that's just not going to cut it. For if, if we get a large horde, we're going to need to start at least. I don't want to like spend a lot of time, but the way I like to do is sort of incrementally improve things. <clears throat> so I think what we're going to do is put a log wall right here. I'm not really using this side of the building right now, at least. Maybe later on, but it's very exposed. There's a bunch of areas they, they often come through there um of course the police station's right over there so there's a lot of activity over there a lot of zombies uh they can come through this the, this window this window. there's just a lot of areas here so it's very exposed and of course the eastern side of the building has a forest which is less exposed i guess i would say so i think we're going to put a, actually you know what maybe we'll put the log wall right here so we'll get access to, oh no you know what i just realized something if i did that theoretically at least they could come through this window and then bash down this door and then they're heading right up which is what i'm trying to avoid i'm trying to make it as difficult as possible because i'm sleeping upstairs and these rooms uh really have no exit point so if they get up there in mass uh i've got a real problem and it's happened a couple times one time I got killed, the other time I did not. Amazingly, and I have no idea what this was about, there was like 20 of them up there, and they just bypassed my room and went into the kitchen. Maybe they smelled something up there. I don't know, but um, yeah, I, I kind of lucked out on that one. All right, so let's get the axe. We're going to go cut down some logs and then start uh, working a little bit on this wall. And like I said, I'm just going to incrementally, once in a while, work on the, the base defenses. <clears throat> kind of an important thing not to forget. Because you do have to, I mean, we have to think that eventually there's going to be an event. I mean, they're going to show up in mass. And my whole strategy, like I said, is to delay them as much as possible so that it's really the early a.m. hours I'm worried about. Uh, if they attack you while you're sleeping, you're just totally unprepared. So that's kind of what I want to, that's that's the, the risky time. If they get in there in the middle of the night, you got a big problem on your hands. So we're going to try to make it so that at least, let's cut down this tree here. So at least I can uh, have time to deal with it, the situation, rather than the alternative, which is to take a dirt nap. So we're going to cut down a few of these trees. Nice thing about, let's cut these down. Um, the nice thing about these log walls is there's no minimum requirement to construct them, which I really like. All you need is the materials. You need an ax, some rip sheets, and some logs, and you can, you can start throwing them up. And really, for what, I mean, there's such an abundance of trees it, and they do, and they give a lot of protection. It's almost, I mean, metal walls, yeah, though it's a, it's a slight upgrade, but really, uh, it's not worth all using all the materials up. It's just easier to build these log walls. Okay, so let's build it. Got the material, and we're gonna put it right here, like I said. So we could actually put some crates here too, but we'll just cut this off, and there we go. Okay, so. Like I said in the first video, if I'm doing a few mundane things, um, I'm just going to hit the pause button now and I'll come back and show you this when it's done. I don't think you need to see me. I don't think you want to watch me 
cut down a bunch of trees and run back and forth. So we'll just hit the pause button. We'll come back and I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Oh, okay, we're back. Um, and you can see uh, we completed the, uh, the log wall here and the base defenses have gone up exponentially. This is a huge uh, deal. So this will give us a lot of more protection. I like to consider these things sort of layered defenses. So um, you wanna like, I wanna create as many layers for them to get to these stairs and get to me as possible. So right now they would have to go through one of the windows or doors, then they'd have to go through this, and then they'd finally have to go up these stairs and get through my door before they finally get to me. And so that will give us a lot of time to organize our defenses in case there is an attack. We can grab a gun or something or just try to get out of here, something, so that we're not, uh, at least we have time. Time, it's all about time in this game when your base gets attacked. And uh, I will, I think eventually I'm going to get a shotgun and put that in my room um, because these rooms, while they're very safe, and it's nice because you have, uh, you know, when you're sleeping, you're probably not going to get a zombie that spawns on you. They're very safe. Uh, there's no exit out of there. So I'm going to get a shotgun with some shells, and if they bust in, somehow bust through all the defenses, they're going to be looking at the uh, end of the, of the barrel of a shotgun, which is uh, never a, a fun thing to do. Well, the zombies don't care, but humans certainly would be scared. But we'll blast as many of them away as possible, and if we go down in a, in a blaze of glory, I guess that's at least we went down in a blaze of glory. Okay, so... It is nighttime. Um, that took quite a while to do, by the way. We did sleep, so you didn't really miss much. Just built the wall and slept. Uh, what I want to do now is clear these corpses out of here because I'm getting really sick of looking at these guys. So let's get them out. And there's maggots. The whole thing's just disgusting. So let's let's just get these guys out. And that guy's bothering me too. You know, you can see I got some like uh, zomboid OCD issues. Clearly. Um, so let's just get this stuff out of here. Drop the corpse. You know, we'll let the nature take take them over. They can join the natural grass over here. We'll get them off of our nicely paved, um, still paved, by the way. It will start eventually crack, and there'll be vines growing here. Usually it takes about three or four weeks. That's the only thing that's a little strange about this game, how quick they grow, but I guess... Guess that's the way it works. Okay, so we're getting some of these corpses out of here. That's good. And just get those two remaining corpses. And now what I'm thinking about, I am worried about the car situation. We've got a beautiful police car in marvelous shape, but I don't want to like, if we do get the base, if it does get attacked, I want to use some other cars and don't want to wear this car down. So, and that that's one thing. And then the other thing is simply that I'm worried about you know, the power can literally go out at any moment. And I certainly want to have at least three cars, I'm thinking, fully gassed up with five or six tanks fully gassed up. And that will give us some time, buy us some time before we find the generator manual. I may regret not doing that elect elect electrician class, but... Um, <clears throat> we'll see. We're going to start, and then, you know, we'll also start to work on the mechanic skill a little bit. Start to get that up. I got to get that to at least two. If I even read the, I, I forget now. Did I read the manual? Forgetting what I did. Let's check. Skills. No, I have not read that manual yet. And we're not even getting any bonuses now. That's just terrible. I could not find that carpentry level two book, which kind of set us back. Unfortunately, it was not in the bookstore, but that's just the way the ball bounces. Okay, so we got all the corpses out of here, and let's let's also get this glass out of here. That's bothering me, too. Pick up the broken glass, and let's just put that in the trash over here. We do have to build rain collectors, but we're not quite there yet. What do we got all this stuff? Let's get the, move this stuff out of here. Here's the broken glass. We don't need that. Dirty rags? We don't need those. So we, we've got some... I thought I had some rip sheets. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's put the rip sheets in there. And I think... Oh, the thread's good. Let's save the thread. And I do need to find a needle. 
I think, did we have a suture needle? I'm trying to remember. Did we get a suture needle? I want to make sure I have a suture needle in case I have to stitch up. Yes, we have a suture. Okay, just want one because that is important. If I get a deep wound and it could happen. It's not, it, it definitely can happen in this game. All right, so uh, things are in really good shape. We're in the fourth day of this horrible apocalypse. We've got some additions to our base, uh, the base defenses, and we'll continue to add. I, I was actually thinking I may want to put a, a wall here with a door, and then both these sides. I mean, I'm more worried about the police station side. I'll definitely admit that, because <clears throat> um, there's just a lot more activity going on over there, a lot more spawning. So that side, you know, was definitely, that needed some coverage, and we've got that coverage now. I don't want to miss the cooking show. So let's go do the cooking show real quick here. Catch up on our cooking. We just got here in time. Well, who can resist a juicy burger? I, I definitely cannot. Okay. Uh, so the weight's going down again. Let's, 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 let's deal with that. Uh, we, that's why we got all that ice cream. And let's consume some of that. I mean, it's going to go bad eventually. What I need to find is a bunch of bourbon. Because that just has a lot of... I think it's like 3,000 calories or something. All right, let's see. Let's see if that made a difference. Yeah, right there. See, we stopped the weight loss. Huh, see to another one. Start, oh, we can't. We're so full. All right. Let's also check... Um, We've got a muffin. We've got some ripped sheets and more. I thought we got rid of the thread. We're carrying some stuff we don't need right now. I don't like to carry stuff. Well, let's take the yogurt. And then we'll we'll get this more organized later on. Like, I want to have a box for clothing. I want to have a box for, for carpentry. I like to have a box for electronics. Another box or crate, sorry, crate for uh, metalworking. I kind of divide it up that way. And we'll, we'll put the boxes kind of probably in here I like this is a good dead space to use but for now I'm just kind of dropping stuff willy-nilly but we'll uh, we'll get this organized later on so I always keep the nails on me but it's not that's very little on the encumbrance I'm not so worried about that but let's get rid of the thread let's get rid of the the books we don't need these I'm just carrying these around antidepressants I don't even care if I'm depressed but well I kind of do, but I kind of don't. But we can store that in our medical room. Okay, good. So now what I want to do um, is we got it. We have to go and search for another vehicle. Let's get our gas can. Thought I had no. It's out here. I'm, I'm forgetting where it was at. It's out in the vehicle. But like I said, uh, we can't forget that we got to find another vehicle. In other words, we got to find the keys, which hopefully we can find another set of keys. But this is sort of the risk reward thing of this game. You may get it, you may not. If you find one, then you've you've done done your job. Now we know these three vehicles are completely empty now on gas and have no keys. So they're completely useless, but they're in great shape. Those two fire vehicles are in good shape. Eventually I'll be able to hotwire those, but uh, right now they are utterly useless. So let's go. I think there were some vehicles. No, there were none here, but there's usually some up here on this next street over. So we'll go. No, there was none there. I remember that now. <clears throat> and we're already getting some heat issues, but we'll we'll just keep. Let's slow down. I don't want to overheat. Whoa, we got a couple. I better actually get my. I actually meant to go get the crossbar. That's fine. We'll just keep the. We'll keep the axe. The axe is really good, too. I really do like the axe. It's actually my favorite. I just don't like to wear it down. But at least you can repair it with duct tape and glue and stuff. All right, so we've... I don't remember if we checked these vehicles. And if I did, I apologize. I can't remember now if I checked these vehicles. I don't think so. So let's see if... Uh, what's going on here? Door is locked. Forget about it. Okay. We're not going to um, risk setting off a car alarm though i think you can still set it off even without opening the door but uh, we're not going to risk that so okay there's no no luck so far okay right, let's but we'll check the trunks for gas cans because uh that's important too 
Lock is broken. Move on to the next one, right? Is there any keys on this guy, maybe? Sometimes these corpses have keys, too. So we should check them. Okay, and let's check for zombies. It's pretty empty here. That's good. Uh, do I see any keys? Sometimes they're lying around the parking lot. There is absolutely nothing. We're really striking out here. Okay, but, you know, got to keep looking. All right, nothing. Let's check the trunk. Kind of talking to myself here a little bit, but I definitely... Okay, so there, we got a gas can. That was that was worth it. Let's go over here now. And let's see. Any zombies? Any zombies? None. Okay, so don't see any keys on the parking lot. Let's check. The glove compartment, no keys. Okay. Finally, we'll check. You can see this gets really repetitive, but that's fine. Oh, I thought I unlocked. There we go. Another gas can and duct tape. All right, we'll take all of this. And a first aid kit. All right, we're going to take all of this. So it's not totally a lost cause here. We're getting some gas cans, which is not as important as cars, but it's pretty darn important. Because that's going to allow us to refill those cars up when the when the power goes and it will go all the people now that are running the show are probably zombies at this point did we check that car all right let's keep an eye on things here any zombies any zombies we checked that red car let's see here and there is nothing in here probably could take the magazine but there's so many of those And that is locked, but I think we can unlock it and see if there's at least a gas can. And yeah, I mean, it's almost important. I'm actually, this isn't a oh, baseball bat. Okay, this, so there's good things in these cars. I mean, you got to check them. And I like, we'll make a spiked, I think we can already do that. Let's make a build a spiked baseball bat. And for good measure, what, what condition? It's in pretty darn good condition. So let's get rid of the axe. And let's take the spiked baseball bat. One of my favorite melee weapons, just because it looks so cool. And does some pretty darn good damage. All right, so let's check the van out. And oh my gosh, keys are in the ignition. Look at all this space. This is a cargo van. Okay, uh, but we do have a we have some customers here. So let's got to be really careful here because this is how you can do. You're actually very vulnerable when you're kind of looking at the. I've gotten killed several times uh, when you start looking, uh, trying to find keys and stuff, and you're unlocking trunks. It it can get really distracted, and then you know you're dead. Let's check and see. 45, not a lot on the, the trunk, but there's a lot of space in this van. Oh, whoa, 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 see here I am, and I almost, that guy almost came in and took me out. Okay. I have the volume way down. Is that the helicopter? I think it is. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay. It might not be, actually. I, I, I have the volume way down, so adds an extra layer of complexity to the game for me for sure do i see any zombies oh maybe maybe i'm hearing things okay i could be hearing things actually it might be coming from outside my <laughs> condo so okay whatever all right anyways i'll find out the hard way if there if that is going on i don't think it is a helicopter event though okay All right, so uh, we're going to go fill this guy up really quickly, gas him up, 
and I'm so happy we found this. It's not in the best of condition. I wouldn't say this is in a very good condition, but it will definitely uh, work for us. I just want, I want at least three cars. And if anything else, it will just store gas for us too. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. A lot of gas, I mean a full tank. I mean, you know, a, 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 basically a vehicle or a gas can only really gets about a quarter of it, gets you about a quarter maybe, and that's about it. So, did I just go past? I just shot right past the, here I am shooting right past. We do not want to go to Riverside. Oh gosh, I'm making, that was a big, 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 big mistake. Okay, so we're gonna have a fight on our hands now because of my own stupidity. And yeah, we're just gonna cut the car right here. The good news is though, is I get to use the spike baseball bat on these gentlemen and women and what they were in their previous lives. And now they're taking the end of a spike baseball bat. I bet they never thought that day would come. It's just fun to use it. It's gotta be painful. It's gotta be painful. Okay, so there we go. I don't know what I'm into here. They, they, see, they just start showing up all, oh my gosh. Is this the... See, I'm playing with almost no volume, which is really just... Oh my gosh. I'm hoping this is not the... I got a bad feeling this is a helicopter event, but I don't see any more, so maybe it isn't. Okay. Taking uh, a lot of precautions here, by the way, if you didn't notice. Because wrong. Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. I, <laughs> I really hate that when you. But we're okay here. Okay. So that worked out okay. All right. Any more customers? I like to call them customers. Customers of our spike baseball bat. Okay, I think that's clear. So let's get the car in position now. This is also another super dangerous thing when you're near this gas tank, or sorry, the fuel pump and you're wedged between like the vehicle. It can get ugly quick. So you gotta make sure the coast is clear as they say. So let's fuel this guy up. And we're st still got a gas can that's... No, I'm going to fill one of them up at least. Speed this up. Let's do a little survey of the situation. Looks clear. Good deal. Let's take fuel. It never fills all of them, so good. And I am just going to drive away into the sunset. So we got our second vehicle now. kind of wimpy but it's let's just look at this as the uh, gonna be our main loot vehicle which we're not really worried about speed it's not really a getaway car I mean yeah you know I'm cranking it up here it just takes a while but it does it does get going this is why I never pick Sunday driver one of the worst absolutely worst negative characteristics other than death which i'm almost playing with right now by the way <laughs> i mean i can hear some sound but it's very minimal let me tell you it's it's definitely a dangerous way to do things i probably should have just taken death <laughs> nonetheless um sunday driver is one of the worst i i have to say that is absolutely one of the worst. all right let's park this up here i'm just gonna park it on the grass up here Away from the action. Good deal. So that's good. I'm very pleased. We found another car. I'd like to get at least one to two more before the before the final deal. Uh, 
want to store the gas cans over here. And let's do that. We'll put this here. We'll get all these empty gas cans filled up. I just want to keep one spot where we keep all the gas cans. Just so I know where we're at. I think... Did we not have one left? Oh my gosh, I missed the carpentry. Never... Oh, just... 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 I, I can't say anything. Never mind. Horrible. That's a major mistake. Okay. Oh my gosh. Just... Oh well. We're in this for the long run. Let's just look at it that way. I missed the carpenter show. <laughs> and I seem to do that a lot, so. I'm sure you guys are going here. He's missing the carpentry show, which he said he really didn't want to miss, and I just missed it. Okay. Oh well. We just need log walls. We don't care about anything else, right? No, we don't. But I am a little concerned now. I think we I think the 14th and the 15th, there's two more showings. If that can just get us, I just want to get to level four. Get level four, good to go. And then I'll feel better about it. All right, well, we, did, we do have two gas cans, so that's good. And we've got four empty ones. That's the silver lining here. We've got a lot of gas cans, six of them now. We get six full gas cans and about three cars. I'm gonna start feeling really good about things. And maybe we'll get some more. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting 10 of them full, and then you're, we're going to be in real good shape. We won't have to find that lousy, stinking generator manual for a while. Uh, let's drink up here. Let's fill up the... Probably should wash up. I mean, I don't really have any wounds. Whoa, do I? That thing should be healed by now. Let's pull it off. It is. Okay. And uh, let's... To a wait is the hold on a second oh my gosh the water is gone look at that it's, it's gone I was wondering why I couldn't wash myself I believe the water is gone yes it's you yep well, uh, there we go. Just like that, gone. Okay, so we've definitely got to get... I mean, I can go to like, you know... there's there's It's not a huge deal. But I, I'll just have to go on some... Uh, run over to some of those houses and stuff to fill up. But let's see where it's at. This water thing. You're like, you click on this and it's like... Or is that it? I think it's just it. <laughs> Nothing left on that one. Oh, yeah, because that takes... What did that take? Like 20 units to fill up? It didn't even fill it up all the way. That's why. There's just nothing left. Yeah, we can fill it up a little bit here. And now this is gone. Okay, so the water is officially gone. All right, so we've got to keep that in mind. And I missed the carpentry show, so... I guess we'll just chalk that up as I'm trying to make the game more difficult for me. Always want to do things the difficult route, not the easy route. Should we see what's in that first aid kit? Nah, let's just store it. Boy, that was that was rather quick for the water. I usually it lasts a little bit, four days. It's it's, but it is zero to thirty. But that that that's a little bit quick. So that's that's kind of unfortunate. But hey, that's just the way the game works, right? Let's store all the duct tape and everything in here. Let's put the key here. Got our spiked baseball bat. That was a huge win. Uh, let's not worry about the axe for now. Store that here. And we'll do more organization. We'll do a whole base organization soon. But, uh, okay, well, that's going to do it. Um, pretty successful day other than missing the carpentry show. We found another vehicle. We got our base defenses. Uh, you know what? Let's do one thing. Before we, before we uh, call it, let's... Uh, I do have to remember to do this. Um, it's important to kind of survey the situation a little bit. 
And I always forget to, this is actually more important than even anything, even more important than listening to shows, in my opinion. You got to keep this whole area empty as possible. And if we got any victims, we need to take them out. Because uh, we cannot allow these guys to build up. It's one of the big mistakes you can make in this game is, is, not to, is to keep your base clear of undesirables. And it's a good time to get in shape. So we'll do a little sprinting. Could do a little foraging. We may work on that eventually too. We've got to work on foraging for sure. Be nice if we can find the herbalist book so we can eat. But actually we've got the iron gut so I think we can try and eat find out if it's the red I think it's just the red or blue you find out which one's bad um okay well it was very clear that was good news let's check the weight again it's going down again but we are hungry so let's just eat some yogurt it's gonna be a battle for the weight but I'm doing a lot of sprinting too probably I shouldn't be doing so much spring I'm sure that's not helping but uh, let's let's uh, keep eating these. Uh, we'll just keep. Well, that's all for now. Okay. Well, there we go. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.